Year 8 Biology. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now we are going to have our biology lesson like this in a digital way. So you can always see certain things on the display here behind me, but you are going to use the book as well and you also need your workbook. Sometimes when I disappear I just want to check things on my phone as I'm recording all this. Uh, and of course you can always stop the video and you can check the information, you can listen to the information once again if you need that or if you stop the video you can have time to write down things in your exercise book. I try to tell you all the time when to stop it and uh, write down information in your book, whatever. Okay, so let's start. Uh, today's topic is the circulatory system as we just finished the excretory system. This is the next important phase in our studies concerning the human body. The circulatory system has one really important and crucial part. Everyone knows that. Your heart. Uh, let's see the keywords first in your book. Please open your book at page 31. And you can find the keywords that if you need more time to open your book you can always stop the video artery arteria but what is that exactly there's a hungarian name for this word Utu erek. okay you can write it there so you can remember this later capillary capillaris hajszári cavity ureg chamber kamra left atrium balpitva Left ventricle, bal camera. Pulmonary circulation, kisvérkő. Right atrium, jobb pitva. Right ventricle, jobb camera. Septum, szívsebény. Systemic circulation, nagy vérkő. Vein, vena. Now, what is this vein, vena? We wrote at the word artery, ütőerek, but what about veins? Veins are also called viszerek. So you can write that this word, okay? So what are we going to deal with? Let's see the basic information about our circulation. The circulatory system transports substances around the body. Write the date in your exercise book, the 16th of March, 2020, titled the circulatory system and write the information one by one. Two, the heart pumps blood around the body, really, basic information, everyone knows that. Blood flows away from the heart in arteries and back to the heart in veins. Now, this is a crucial part, uh, the direction especially. So blood flows away from the heart in arteries and back to the heart in veins. In the organs, blood flows in capillaries, so they are the smaller types. Arteries, veins and capillaries have different structures and functions. So, please have a look at the heart and let's see the names of the parts. The animation really nicely show, shows the way of blood or the route of blood, so to say, or the journey of it through the veins and arteries in the body. So, let's see. First, the front body section, right atrium and right ventricle. So right, it means that on the right side of your body. So do not use your hands like this as you are facing the screen, please. Then, uh, this goes to lungs. Two body from lungs, there are these two more options. And there's the left atrium and left ventricle. Atrium pitva, ventricle camera. Please remember the names. And look at these tiny valves. These ensure blood flows in correct direction. Their role is again really important. Now that you can see this, you can open your workbook at page 29. I'm trying to show you the page number as well. And this is our task, page 2. Stop the video and by using this special animation you can write the parts of the human heart on the lines. 
and you can also practice the names. If you finished, we try to move on. I'm going to use So, some core information about the heart. Now that you are not here, um, I cannot really have the gaps uh, in the presentation, there's no point. Uh, but I put there the right words. So, let's read these facts together. All these are important and these should be written in your exercise book. So, ready, steady, go. The heart is a double pump. The right side pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs. What does deoxygenated mean? There's no oxygen in it. The left side pumps oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. On each side, blood flows into an atrium. The atrium muscles contract and force the blood into a ventricle through one-way valves. The ventricle muscle then contract and pumps the blood out of the heart. So, this is the core information, what you need to know about uh, the human heart. Please make sure that you learn all the Hungarian names, words, on page 31 in the textbook. If you completed this section here, the parts of the heart, that's good. The homework task is page 29, task 3. And we will continue here next time. Until then, when you finished writing this in your exercise book, please learn the different parts you have to remember by heart these important pieces of information. And to have fun, please find a circulatory system song on YouTube. Okay, and that can help you remember the basic parts of the heart. So keep up good work. Until our next time, bye bye.